In this video, I am going to discuss about what is pyramid and how it formed. How to find the volume of pyramid and its explanation and how to find the surface area of pyramid and its explanation. A solid figure with polygonal base and triangular face meeting at a common point is called pyramid. According to the definition, the polygonal base and the triangular faces meeting at a common point is called pyramid. The meeting point of the lateral surface is the vertex of the pyramid. This one is the vertex or you can call it apex. And these triangular faces are the lateral surfaces of the pyramid. But if the base is a regular polygon and the lateral faces are congruent triangle, then the pyramid is called the regular pyramid. For this pyramid, this red line is the slant height. And this green line represents the height. This black line represents the edge. So the edge of pyramid is the line joining from the vertex to the corner of the base. Now, how to find the slant height of any regular pyramid? For this, first we have to take the base and draw an inscribed circle on base. The condition for inscribed circle that the circle touches all four side of that polygon. Since the base of this uh, pyramid is a square, the circle touches all four sides is called the inscribed circle for this base. So this inscribed circle touches the base with four points and the line joining from this touching point to the vertex is called the slant height. This slant height and this height and inscribed radius r makes a right angle triangle. With the help of Pythagoras theorem, we can easily find the value of s, that is the slant height. That is s is square equal to a c square plus r is square. So s equal to square root of a c square plus r is square. Next, the volume of pyramid is equal to one third the area of the base times height. The explanation about finding the volume of pyramid. For this explanation, initially we have to take a cube with length L, breadth B and height A. We all know for cube, length, breadth and height are equal. So the volume of the cube equal to length time breadth time height. If we cut this cube along this diagonal line, 1, 2, 3, 4, then we get 6 each equal piece. And this meeting point will be the half of the height of the cube. Let's see how it happened. The first one, the second one, the third one, the fourth one, the fifth one, and the finally the sixth one. So we divide the cube into six equal pyramids. This one is a one piece of pyramid. This one is a one sixth part of our previous cube. So for this pyramid, the length is L, breadth is B, and the height is H, which is half of the height of Q. So volume of pyramid is length time breadth time height divided by six. That is the volume of cube divided by six. And in place of this height, we can replace two H. After simplification, we get 2 by 6 L time B time this A, which is L time bread represent the area of the base and this A represent the height of the pyramid. So the volume of the pyramid is one third the area of the base times height, the total surface area of regular pyramid. Consider this one is a regular pyramid and base of this pyramid is a quadrilateral. And since the quadrilateral, quadrilateral have four sides, so this pyramid have four lateral surfaces. So one, two, then three, four. Four lateral surface 
and the base. This one, these uh, four are the lateral surface and one base. If we find all the area, we get the total surface area for the pyramid. So, the total surface area of pyramid is equal to the area of the base plus area of the lateral surfaces. If we separately find the area of the lateral surfaces and the area of the base, the summation will be the total surface area of pyramid. If the lateral surfaces are congruent triangles, then we can find it in another way. So the total surface area of pyramid is equal to area of base plus half into perimeter of base into slant height. Let's see how it works. This one is the base of any pyramid. This one is four sided and close area. One, two, three, four. Since the base is four sided, we get four lateral surfaces. But the area of the each lateral surfaces, that is the triangle, is half time base time height. That is half into L into S, where S is the slant height and L is the length of each side of base. So, the area of lateral surface is equal to 4 into the area of triangle. 4 into half time L time S, where we can write in this way that is 4 into L divided by 2 into S, where 4 into L represents the perimeter. So, perimeter divided by 2 into the slant height equal to, we can write half into the perimeter of base times height. So, we can write it for the total surface area of pyramid, that is the area of the base plus half of the perimeter of the base into slant height. 